guys, I don't have work experience this week, so I have time to make a really stupid, oddly specific topic video today. Um, and today we're going to be talking about this. This video I did a couple months back when Wave 3 released. It was doing the longest drift on a racetrack in Mario Kart Deluxe history. 28.5 seconds. Now, from the videos I've seen, this is the longest drift you can find footage of on YouTube for a racetrack. Because, let me, well, let me cover this. Four years ago, you had this channel, Super Galaxy Gamer, post the world's longest drift in Mario Kart history. Basically, they just go around for several minutes, drifting around the center of this battle track. And this is why I specified racetrack, because battle track, there is a, well, you have, you can set a timer up to five minutes. So the, the world record for that is going to be four minutes, something seconds, depending on how quickly you got into a drift as soon as the race began. And that includes Shine Thief, which doesn't have a set timer. The timer is the individual players and how long they hold the shine. But if five minutes passes, and no one's had 20 seconds holding the shrine, then the match does end. So so even then, it's still a five-minute time. Then we go on to the racetracks. And first we just credit to this Nintendo Switch Clips channel. That's what kind of made this concept popular. Um, doing this through. When you go through Tokyo Blur, and you're actually racing on the track, you're not doing what I did, where you, like, just... Drive around wherever the fuck. Like, they actually basically do like a full lap just drifting. It's more impressive than what I did. And then you see channels like Jay Hunter here who replicated it and basically did a longer version. And that's what, like, these two videos, how are you thinking? Okay, but like, like, what? <laughs> let, let, let me beat this. And I try doing the Tokyo Blur thing. I'm like, what the fuck? How do you do this? So I'm like, okay, other tracks. <laughs> what what can I exploit? And yeah, if you've seen this video, you know I use a couple stars and I like turn around this open like field area in Rock Rock Mountain, aka Alpine Pass. That's why I chose it. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is a very smart idea. And I did get a better time when I compared to the the Tokyo Blur clips. I, I it's a second longer, I believed and longest one I saw. So it's like, okay, that's the world record. It's not, no one can test for it, but that is the longest drift, as, as far as video evidence goes. And I was like, okay, cool. And I specified it's a racetrack, and in the comments I explained why battle tracks, like it's very easy to do, because you can just go around in circles. And my dumbass, hadn't realized you can do the same on race tracks as well. Look at this. I literally made a video about this. Wave 3 does have a pointless roundabout. And the joke in that video I made was basically they, they removed like access to the, uh, the, the Peach Garden roundabout. You can't go the long way because there's no point to it. Which was understandable but somewhat disappointing because I... I, I assume if you're going to make a Peach Garden remake, that's like the first thing you change. You fix that to give it a purpose. And they just they decide to cut it, which, fair enough. <laughs> but I was like, okay, yeah, this little, this little tiny roundabout at the start of London Loop, you can just go the long way for no reason. And the, the reason you could do that is because, because in later laps, like the, 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 the route changes and you end up going back to that roundabout. So you come at it from different angles, basically. But in lap one, there's no point going around. But you can. So that was the joke we I made, and then like after that, I did the, I did the, um, the longest drift, not realizing I can just drift around the roundabout constantly, forever. Look at this for an example. This video I recorded. You can just go around. It's not like completely mindless because you gotta control the drift and shit. But as you can tell, you can definitely keep doing this forever. And by forever, what I mean is a maximum of 10 minutes. Essentially, not only do battle tracks have a timer, 
but so do race tracks. Every single version, including time trials, you have a 10 minute time limit, then the race ends. And that, that applies to everything. I, I timed it myself to, to make sure. And I only learned of it when I was doing the drifts for the uh, Brockbuck Mountain. And I was like, holy shit, it just ends on its own. So that is a thing. And obviously, if we're looking at like the time stuff, then yeah, your your max time is going to be nine minutes something, depending on how quickly you get to the roundabout. And it's at the start. So I assume London Loop's the best for this. I, I imagine there are actually more tracks where you can just drift around infinitely. Um, but there is still a time limit to it. So obviously this takes away the impressiveness of trying to get the longest drift because you can just do shit like this. So if we're to set some ground rules here, I have two suggestions. We can just not count uh, drifts that end up going backwards. You know, like, like you focus on drifts that are just going forward on this track, which would invalidate my Rock Rock Mountain run if we ever establish rules to making the longest drift. Alternatively, we can just disqualify, like, infinite stuff like this in general. Um, and maybe disqualify star, like, 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 lucky eight stars? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just think... This was an interesting video to make because the longest trip, that was quite an impressive thing, right? But you have so much goofy shit you can do uh, that just, it, it doesn't make it impressive, I will admit. Um, so, yeah, basically, the longest drift in Marikai Deluxe is going to be 9 minutes 50 seconds-ish. I can't be asked to uh, show that. <laughs> I can't be asked to make a 10 minute video of me just go drifting around a roundabout. But yeah, you, you can do it constantly, infinitely. And yeah, there's not much editing there. There's not much for me to add. I just think it's an interesting topic. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Bye.